A differential pair is two traces arranged in such a way as to be able to benefit from differential signaling. Now what is differential signaling? Differential signaling involves sending two signals, which are mirror images of each other, down a pair of traces in order to obtain an improved signal-to-noise ratio. Now, this task requires us to route the two traces and then length match them. Doing it manually can be a very difficult task. So in today's tip, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Eagle to do a differential pair. Hi, my name is George Garcia, and I'm from the Autodesk Eagle team. So right now we're looking at the single-sided board. This is a very uh, basic example, and the goal of using this example is to just really highlight the mechanics of defining a differential pair. So we're going to click on the name command, and I'm going to pick these two signals over here. So first, here. Now the name is very important. The name for a differential pair consists of a prefix and a suffix. The prefix must be the same for both signals. So for our example today, we'll pick test. Now the suffix is the part that's going to be different. One of them has to be underscore p, and then the other must be underscore n. So we have test underscore p, test underscore n. We say OK. Now that naming convention lets Eagle know that you're dealing with a differential pair. So now we're going to go ahead and click on the route command. I'm going to make sure we are on the bottom layer, which we are. I'll click one of them, and what you're going to see is that they both route together. Okay? So what we want to do is start them together, and we want to keep them rounding together for as long as we can. So I'm going to go ahead and turn over here. Okay, you may notice that when you make the turn, the ends are, are a little odd, but as soon as you lay down that segment, Eagle will automatically correct it. So I'm going to take them to here. Now, I can't take them together all the way to the end. At some point, you have to basically break off. And we do that by hitting escape. That will allow us to finish routing one of the traces. So we're going to finish this one. And now we go back and finish off the other one. So now I'm going to come around and do that. OK, so at this point, we see the pair. And it's very obvious that they do not have the same length. Now, length matching is important because in high-speed signals, any type of delay or time difference between the signals can lead to far-end noise. So we want to avoid that. And the way we do that is by length matching the two traces. So to do that, we click on Meander. Okay, what we're going to notice is that you can meander to the longest length. Okay, which is what we can see going on here. You'll notice that they're both meandering together. We can also, if we right click, we can change to a single sided meander. And what that will do is it will only meander the shortest one, okay, until we get the length match. And we can adjust it simply by moving our mouse cursor away from where we initially clicked, okay? And that can allow us to, to make the meanders as small as possible. Now, additionally, we can meander to a specific length. So if you notice, the meander command is letting us know we've matched to the longest segment. We have approximately 1,200 mils of trace length. However, I could actually specify a specific length that I need to match, and that could be done for the purpose of matching to a given impedance. So in this case, let's say I want to match to 1,300. I just type 1,300. I hit Enter. And now we'll notice that the percentages have changed relative to 1300. Now they're both too short. OK. Now what we can do here is we can use now symmetrical increases to get the length match. And notice that here, they're both showing green. There is a tolerance for this parameter. If they're both showing green, that means that they're within tolerance. And you may want to try both both methods to see if you can get a better match one way or the other. So in this case, this gives us a, a better match. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. And we see it's a length match. And that's how you do a differential pair in Eagle. So doing this, as we said, will allow you to benefit from an improved signal-to-noise ratio. And this is the preferred mechanism to do it. That way you don't have to go through the manual process. Join us next time.